the, the rumor is that you, you mess with Charlie Baltimore, and then that's how you and Jay Z had had problems. You would you like to elaborate on that, Glory. or you, you want to say? We're gonna get to that. You gotta relax. Hold on. I got, I got you. I got you. I got you. But but this is a two big continue. This is a two big continue. You're right. You're right. This is a two big continue. Let's just see what he's gonna say. Let's just see what he's gonna say. Big on the say. You're gonna take the high road. Listen. We're gonna play the fifth. Okay. Going back. Let me talk to your audience. Talk to the audience. I've been dying. I've been dying to come to this show. Because my brother. of the way they smoke, the way they drink, <laughs> I haven't been offered none of it. <laughs> I'm not smoking, I drink. Oh, oh shit, let's, let's do some Delion. No, 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 we're not doing Delion. We don't Delion. drink Delion. What you drink, Ace of Spades? I'm going to tell yeah. y'all something. Ace of Spades. Listen, I'm getting ready to tell y'all a story about it. this alcohol. You, the only thing that you don't have here is Casamigo. Right? No, we, we don't, don't know the owner. Right? Yeah, we don't know the owner. And, 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 and Casamigo mixed with this champagne. Right? Oh, Casamigo and Ace of Spade mixed. Guys, girls, you, you, you're going to make babies. <laughs> I love how he's not answering this question at all. And I'm calling that Drake cold? the Queen of Spades. There you go. Drink tanks. Let's make some noise for that. <laughs> got some cold ace on this. We, 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 we don't got no cold ace, but we we, we some hot ace. Hot hot ace. ace. You want to buy some hot ace? Do some hot ace. Yeah. yeah. Hot ace. We're getting open already. So the question is, we answered the question. Oh, to be continued. Got you, what was the question? Nori, you're going on. Yo, Nori. Was, yo, Nori became a real full-on journalist, Nori. yo. You don't get stay honest. Uh, Nori, you want to become a gossip columnist. He's, he's steady. He's, 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 he's page six. He's page six. six. Well, yeah, page six. You know, page oh, six. We're going to ask that in Miami. Page six. Okay. Because you know what? Uh, we miss you in this game. We need more Black Azex. We need more... Uns, Dame Dashes, the Earth Goddies, the Darrens. We need more of this. You know what I mean? And especially you going into the movie world, uh, we even needed that. We even needed to, you know what I mean? So uh, how, how's that been, transitioning to the movie world? I mean, it's been special. You know what I mean? We, 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 we were allowed to tell stories that we love to tell, right? And I, I, I kind of say that, you know, I have hope to bridge the gap between music video directors and the film world. And you did the cookout, right? Yeah, I directed the cookout. I like the cookout. Mm. directed The Perfect Holiday. Nice. Um, so, you know, I, I, I mean, the transition has been that. You know? So now mm. I, I, I took a, a, a real good look at the landscape see what everybody's doing in terms of content. I, I don't like what they are doing with 50 cents over at Pop, um, Stars, um, only because they are dictating how we consume content, mm. right? And he, he's fighting for us, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and if he says, cancel your subscription until his shows come back up, do that, right, 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 because the content is for us. They come yeah. in like hip hop, and they say, "Hey, this is mainstream, and you don't know what you're talking about, 50." Right. So, a lot of things when they start to get rid of the old guard, young guys, you gotta fight because you're next. You're next. Right. Yeah, really right. Yeah. There's, there's no, you don't have no security. Like if they next. fire flex, Peter Rosenberg, you're next. You're next. <laughs> right? It's a history. Yes. Right? Just the and history. we've all seen it. We've all, yes. you know, hot and cold, re re reinvention. Right. Right? You know, you, you've done a wonderful job. I, I remember it. You know, and Cypher Sounds is now a comedian. Right. And, and I'm Good proud of him. Yeah. Good you know what I'm saying? Hey, he's I'm funny him. now. I'm going to tell you something about T.I. And he doesn't answer the phone anymore. I'm going to tell you about T.I. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, T.I. being a comedian. Right. Right? Let's talk about he that. got booed in New York. Right, but, so. But one thing that he did was he held his composure. He did not run. He did not put his head down. 
He did, and every comedian knows that is the challenge. That's the moment. If you can stand up to that, and he redeemed himself because I waited. I said, "How is he going to recover?" And he did. He played his record. The crowd went crazy, and he said, "I wish I would." You selfish motherfuckers. <laughs> Because they thought they was going to get a rap concert. Facts. Right? And and he's redeemed this up. They laughed. That was his ending. So it's this time. So. Um, how about you? What about this? Yeah, I love it. You, you love it? Yeah, I love it, dude. You know, because I was, I was funny on the radio, so I just found people kept saying funny, 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 so I found a way to make it the main thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a hard transition, though. It's not the same as hip hop. Right. Sight, Sight Sounds is a show on A&E coming out too. Am I allowed to say that? Sure. Hip Hop Treasure is coming this winter, hosted by Cypher Sounds. No. Yeah. Hip Hop yeah. Treasure, what does that mean? That it's means that he's going to take a diamond test of all those diamonds. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside. Let's, let's go, go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's let's go. Let's 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 out here. Not, not, someone's treasure. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Hello, Cool J's company, Rock the Bells. Rock the Bells. Yeah. And I go searching for hip hop artifacts. Like we're looking for Biggie's crown. Oh, like the wrestler? Like the wrestler? Like the same thing. Oh, treasures, yeah. oh, that's fucking yeah, genius. Fire. You didn't fire. call me. I've seen you once every week. Well, I'm waiting to get the first season out the way so we figure out all the bugs. Well, be what is it that you want from Nori as an artifact? I want to be a second of a producer. Nori artifact would be... Oh, that's you, a, you, know, you don't understand. I don't know. My first the animal cup summer came. jam I ever did, Cameron and Entertainment asked me to come out. Yeah. We rehearsed this. We rehearsed this mm -hmm. for weeks. For weeks. <laughs> For weeks. It's a boom that comes out. Boom. <laughs> and then I walk out. The boom never came out. No boom. <laughs> no boom. You know what I'm saying? I was about to do that. Where's the boom? Where's the boom? <laughs> They're like, Nori, go out. I'm like, the I boom. Was like, I was like, Nori, go out. Because I'm like, like did you look at what Little Wookiee's having a little dirt? Little dirt. Little dirt. The boom. Yeah. Like, so if I would went out, you the boom, uh, yeah, the boom you see what you I would have the fuck up. Absolutely. So I'm looking, I'm like, yo, we rehearsed this for six right. fucking weeks. Absolutely. Where's the boom? Bucking and I'm just going, like, go out! I'm like, there's no boom! <laughs> Where's the boom? Now, 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 let me tell you something, yeah. and, 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 and to, to add on to that story. Yeah. At the time, Cameron, Dutch and Spade, Charlie Baltimore, and Noriega, didn't even have an album out. Right. And they had a summer jam set. Go. Yeah. Make some noise for that. You too. I'll, I'll, be honest. I'll be honest. I was signed the penalty, but I'm going to be honest. And I, I probably never said this publicly. But Entertainment was running my shit. Absolutely. Yo, Entertainment, because me and Cam were so tight that Aunt was like, yo, I got you, bro. I know these niggas don't really know what they're doing. Look, look, I got you. Yo. So, yeah, yeah. Real talk. Out, everything Cam yo. did, Norby right. was there, yo. MTV. Under you do the whole, I'm, I'm guessing you put yeah, together no, the whole horse and carriage remix. First. I'm uh, giving y'all both the props. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm giving y'all both the props. Buckles definitely yeah. was. Yeah. Was yeah. outside? Yeah. 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 Outside. Definitely. Yeah. Let's say outside. It's an interesting yeah. story yeah. about yeah. that record in Mason Cam, but oh. we'll save that for you. Yeah, you got it. Continue. Wait, say that again. Cam, Mason, horse and carriage. Oh, I was at that video too. I know. <laughs> oh, you know your artifact should be. You know your artifact should be. What did you What did you wear in the You Came Up video? Oh, no, nah, I don't have none of that. By the way, we I'm need gonna that. That would be the thing. You don't have artifacts. I'm going to tell you the jewel of You Came Up video. What a big part. Was the guy that's, the, 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 not the director, but the guy that's like the DP or whatever, yep. he comes up to me and says, Pun said he could jump off of the roof. And he said, you, you said, you co sign. I said, that's a lie. <laughs> uh, so, Pun, I don't know if you remember in the video, there's a guy that jumps off the roof. Yes. Pun yes. wanted to be that guy. Yeah. Uh, and Pun said, ask Nori. Nori see me do it. He goes, ask Nori. Nori see me do it before. I said, yo, Pun, I don't know why you lie on me on this one. I am not co signing this. I said, hell no, he's a liar. I've never seen him do that. That's good. So, then, I swear to God, I swear to God, Juan was right, 400 pounds this time. He jumped over the gate. He said, y'all don't think I can jump it? And he went and jumped over the gate. I don't think I can jump over the gate right now. <laughs> and he jumped over. And I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, maybe he could do it. But I, I just went with my gut. And it was like, 
So Nori, you, you're gonna call sign one jumping off the roof? I said no. Yes. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yes. What's the best moment? My oh, man, I told you. Miss Pun. Well, we used to have to okay. back the kids' trunk up on the sidewalk to get to the door of the studio. <laughs> I did, I did but, 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 on that cover, we did the, the cover of Source Magazine in 1998. It was me, you, yeah. DMX. DMX, uh, Cameron. Cameron. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Karak. Yeah. So Dishaka. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, DMX. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Cannabis. Cannabis. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, uh, um, uh, Cavadonna from yeah. Wu-Tang. Yeah, I think I named uh, her. So, so in this, in the article of the cover, they wanted us to, they asked us about other artists. So. They would say, Peter, um, we want to ask you and Tariq what y'all think about DMX. And they would ask you who you thought about right. Pun or whatever. Right. I said, let's do Pun. They said, now nah, we want to mix it up. Y'all from the Bronx do DMX. So I said, yeah, now nah, the DMX is dope. It's changing the game. We're going back to the streets. You know, that's where we, we coming in. And, and when they asked X about me and Tariq, he said, ask them niggas how I ate them at, at Hunter College. <laughs> <laughs> so we doing all of this, yo, we doing all this big, big hip hop. Up. Yeah. And then um, he, he got on this, asked them niggas at Hunter College how I ate them, them and their whole team, the gun brothers. Asked that nigga Peter Guns, right? So Carlito from Saws called me and said, hey, you might want to recant your interview because X kind of went in on you. I said, what he said? Carlito from the Saws, uh, what do we can do? The writer, the writer. Right. Yeah, just came home to jail. Yeah. Rest in peace, X was my brother. So, so I said, what he say? He said, he said, ask y'all how you HR the fucking Hunter College. Now, here's the true story. It was like five of us out the Bronx, and it was just him and some dudes from Yonkers. So all of us wanted a piece of it. So when he go, then Tariq, like, let me get something. It was a true story. We all went one by one, and I can see how the nigga, like, I ate all of it. <laughs> so I'm, I'm so mad at X, because I had to go and, and do this. this thing. Carlito said, I ain't going to print it like that. I try to reach X. They said X is in booms in the Bronx. You got to show them. NYC booms? NYC booms? Yeah. So me and Tariq is in Detroit on the show. You know, I called, made a phone call. Yo, go ask X what the fuck is wrong. So they called me from the booms. Shout out to uh, the booms, sex money, X and them. And X got on the phone was like, nigga, I would never do that. Yo, y'all family and me. When I catch that nigga, Carlito's on. I said, I right, bet, because this nigga, so I said, Carlito, you can't be doing shit like that. Carlito said, come to the office and played the tape. <laughs> no! No! It was on tape? It was worse. It, it was tape. worse than he said. Wow. He said it was worse. All, no. I could, yo, all I could do is die laughing because as mad as I was, X was like, I gotta get him out of here. He was, he was in the backyard. Yeah, it was the funniest shit, man.